Stress is coming at us every day in new forms. While you can't change what happens to you, you can change your perception. Today, I'm at Portland Productions where I film all of my events. Speaking for Ottawa County, I'm gonna show them how they can choose simple ways to deal with stress and bring their best selves to work, both virtually and in person. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Greetings from the intergalactic headquarters of Tim Guard International in Portland, Oregon. This other guy would come on and I don't know the traditional greeting in first class. It's like, we got our own pod. You put these on, people will leave you alone. While we're waiting, I can do the theme to Jeopardy with the nose flute. He crushed it. Entertaining, hilarious, yet thought-provoking and relevant. Humor is about connecting. It's about learning to see things differently and making positive choices instead of reacting and getting angry. The only things that we're gonna talk about today here are real life solutions to the situational stressors that you run into every single day. And this is not a theory. I have field tested this myself under some extremely arduous conditions where humor really wouldn't be expected. And when something stressful happens, instead of getting angry and upset, here's what I want you to do. Little thing happened, you're running late to a meeting, you're having trouble, your other Zoom call went long. Instead of getting stressed out, I want you to put your hand right here and say, bummer. Let the little things go. If you don't do this, you end up stacking things one on top of another until you get such a load, you can't even explain to people why you're angry. I was checking in and the lady said, Mr. Gard, I'm really sorry, I don't know how to tell you this, but when you rebook these rooms, uh, the price went up to what the current price was. So she says, $250 a night. And I said, now before you say anything else, you might want to see what I have. And I turned my hand over and she saw those little itty bitty chickens and she wanted them really badly. I ended up getting the room for $80 a night, all because of itty bitty chickens. Now that's not bribing people. What I did was I connected with her. I used humor to connect. I used humor as a business skill. And this is what we're gonna be talking about today is that anybody can do this. It's just one of the options that we don't use enough. When I worked for the county government, I worked in human services, I processed welfare applications. It was the most stressful job of my life. If I made a mistake, people could go hungry. A lot of things that weren't funny about it. But I learned that while this was going on, I could learn to laugh at myself. And as C.W. Metcalf said, laugh not with ridicule, but with objectivity and acceptance of self. It's about learning to see things differently that normally would bother us. And, and the more you do this, the more you want it. He's not even surprised it's a whole rubber chicken. He just takes the rubber chicken out and he inspects it like he sees him every day. And he starts frisking it. Very thoroughly. Many bags look alike. This isn't your bag because this bag belongs to Tim Gard. Now, does this work every time? No. The opposite of depression isn't happiness. The opposite of depression is resiliency. You need to find ways of dealing with stress that help you relieve the stress. I found that the more that I used humor to refresh and renew myself, I was better able to serve other people. Itty bitty chickens don't solve all the problems out there, but sometimes it can help us get over the little bumps in the road. 